this material. And our ocean food chain isn't just our ocean food chain. Our ocean food chain is connected to the seabirds that eat the materials and then bring it back and then they bring that contamination back to the land. So devastating. At that at that ratio? Um, okay, the, the very worst it gets is this is why one of the, my other co-authors on that on the paper from out of Tokyo, Captain Charles Moore, he basically says this ocean is dying. And because of this material, there's nothing we're gonna be able to do about it. This ocean. He, he equated it to Humpty Dumpty falling off the wall and all the king's horse and all the king's dinner to put it back together. Because this material is so, absorbing so much contamination and so much of it's going into our the food chain, he's predicting a, a, a general collapse of our food chain out here. Charles Moore, you know, he's like my I like one of my idols. The guy's probably one of the leading marine biologists on the West Coast, runs head of Algalita. Uh, and he says we're done. That we've done it. We've, we've already done it. Uh, I hope he's wrong. People aren't always right, he might not always be right. And we're doing the best we can to do something about it. It's not it's not coming this is this is how it's coming out. I don't know any other way this stuff's being removed from the system. Yeah. I mean it doesn't seem like anybody's really doing anything that has testing, yeah, research, testing, exactly. research. Yeah. There's no operational uh, procedure. Well it doesn't seem like the public is even aware of the magnitude of the problem. <laughs> Slowly but surely, they, they kind of know about the gyre now. People are, the general knowledge of the gyre has been growing. But as far as knowledge of what this material, which is the key to the collapse of this food chain, this material is the key. Most people don't know that much about this yet. And the tide shift going Never. back out? Interesting. Never see it going back out. Now, it can be captured by tide. My suggestion, since there's no research done on that, but my suggestion is it can come in and it can grab it and move it down the beach. I don't think it's ever going to come in and grab it and get it back in the main current out of here. I think it's all, it's, once it lands, it's ours. We get to deal with it. And, and this uh, big tide might come in here, it's going to float it all out of the sand. It's going to do that and move it. I don't think it's going to take it away. So are there other people? in other countries that are doing anything no similar one. to this? We're the first. Yeah. Okay. And it's just, I, you know, like I said when I went at the beginning of the lecture, when I started this 13 years ago, nobody wanted to do it. I, nobody wanted to go pick trash up every day. There, sure, there's, we had salt going and things like that going, but no, not very many scientists really wanted to make it their life. It's a trash issue. Now we've got lots of people that are built picking up. You know, I've got other partners that are you know, PhD level people that are working with me and over the years, but when I started this, nobody wanted to do it, and I was alone for a long time. But I found one other guy, uh, another researcher, Lance Ferris in Australia, and I mentioned him. He was doing extensive research on this. When I had, uh, when I found him, and we were the only two guys I could really find. They were really focusing on this every day, on the wildlife aspect, how much is out there, and then Woods Hole, University of Tokyo, Algalita, Sea Research Institute. Everybody went, whoa, we better get on this. Boom, we, we grouped up and we did the, the global mapping. Today we're just gonna show you how this works. We're not gonna do any of the transects set up. We're not gonna do all that. Most of this was right at the surface. Let's just see what was right here. Now, when you run the screen, you don't want it way up in the air. You want the screen as low to the ground as possible so it generates the least amount of debris. Up, down. This gets the static going. There's what you have. Just light. And I'll take it, I got it. And then you just transfer it to park. concentrated and uh, it was also deeper I, I had to go down I you know what I didn't get it all